Hello everyone, welcome to How to Do It. In this video, we will see how to use charts in React. And by the end of this video, you will be able to implement all these charts in React. So let's get started. So here I have a React app running. If we go to my project, here you can see we have a simple structure where inside the app class, I have a h1 tag and inside that and below that I have a div the class of row and another div with a class of column. So this row and column are coming from the bootstrap. So if you don't know how to use bootstrap in react, make sure to watch my previous video. So let's continue. Now to add charts to react, we'll use this package called react epic chart. I'll provide the link to this in the description. So let's continue. So to install apex chart, we'll have to run this command npm install dash dash save react apex chart and apex chart. I'll copy this and go to my terminal and close the react server and then paste it in here and then install it. Now by the time it's getting installed, we'll go back to the documentation and scroll down a bit and then we'll copy this import that is import chart from react apex chart and go back and just paste it on the second line after the react import now we'll go back to the documentation here you can see they are using a class component so they are setting the state as the settings so we'll just copy this and just go back to our application and we'll use use state to add the settings to our project so I'll type in const state comma set state equals to use state and just paste it in here. We'll also have to import the use state. So I'll just import it. Now we have added the settings to our state. Next we'll have to add the chart to our project. So for that I'll just copy this that is the chart component and just go to our project and inside the column i'll just paste it in here now here it says this dot state dot options but we are using a functional component so i'll just remove this this keyword now it points to our state dot options so now we are done with the setup now if we save this and just hit npm start to start our project we can see the chart is here so let me explain the options in the options we can see inside the chart there is an id called basic bar so basically what this means is if we right click on it and go to inspect here if we find for basic bar we can see here that an id of apex chart basic bar is added on the chart so this id represents this id here if i just add in 444 here and save it and go back and just open it again we can see here that apex chart basic bar 444 is added as id so this represents that id here we have an x axis which has the category and the values these these values are shown in the x axis of the chart the y axis is automatically added depending on the values provided the series represents the data that is shown in the chart here we only have series 1 now if we copy this and add one more series and name it series 2 and just modify some data and just save it we can see that two bars are shown here and below this chart we can see series 1 and series 2 and the best thing about the apex chart is we can also download the svg the png and csv of the chart so this is not all we'll also add other charts in this tutorial so i'll just close the development console and go back to our project here are the charts that we will be implementing in this video. We already have done the bar chart. Next we will go with the line chart. Now I will just copy this div 
and just paste it below the current chart. Now I'll just change this to line and if I save this and go back I can see that the line chart is added. Similarly if I copy this again and just paste it in here and then change this to area we can see a area chart here. Next we have a radar so I'll again copy this and then paste it in here and I'll just change the type to radar and here we have a radar chart. Next we'll just go back and copy it again and then next we have a histogram so I'll change the type to a histogram and if we save it and go back we can see there's a histogram added but now if we see there's some kind of issue that's causing it to shake that is due to the width of the charts if we go back and just change it to 450 in all the charts and save it we'll see that everything works next we'll go back and we have a scatter plot next so i'll just copy this and just change the type to scatter and just save it and here you can see we have a scatter plot next we have the last one that is the heat map so i'll just copy it again and just change it to heat map so here is a heat map now if you want to change the label like here we have the series 1 and series 2 we'll have to go to the options and just change it to something like people born in this year like people born and people died and we have the and we have the list of years here so i'll just save it and here we can see people born and people died now if you also want to change the color of this we can add the color property in here inside the option we can just type in colors and just add in an array and inside the array we'll have to add the hex code of the colors so let's go and grab some hex codes so i'll go to option and then colors so here we have some colors given by fx chart we can also add our own customized colors i'll just paste it in here and just save now here we can notice that the green color has changed and the blue color remains the same so we'll go back and just remove the three colors in the beginning and we'll just use these two colors and if we save this we'll have these two colors that is purple and orange so this was all on how to use charts in react hope you like the video please do like and subscribe